Hey there, it's Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like. Today's video is about am I enough? And this one goes out to ladies as well as the men out there who's feeling inadequate in some way. I hear it a lot. I always say from the ladies because I talk to more ladies and I have more lady friends. This question has been posed to me. Tammy, have you ever felt like you wasn't enough. I had to come back and say, no. <laughs> it's just not something that I guess I have struggled with. I have had low self-esteem from uh, my divorce, from a breakup, from rejection, maybe even from a job um, loss or having a hard time getting hired. It really affects your self-worth and your self-esteem. But as far as me thinking, am I enough? No. That, that just doesn't fly with me. And I'll tell you why. Am I enough is coming from a place of judgment. And it means you're putting yourself on some type of uh, pedal stool or a non-pedal stool or a measuring tool. And at the end of the day, am I enough for? So who is that pertaining to? A lot of times, some women, they're comparing themselves with their kids, um, parents of the kids that, you know, they go to their kids go to school with, with um, classmates. That's a big one. You go to a reunion, high school reunion, 20 years later, someone's an attorney and you work as an administrative assistant somewhere. And there we go with the comparison. Wow, I'm not enough. I didn't do enough. One thing we have to remember everybody has their own path in life. And if you don't like something, you change it, right? If you don't like the career you're in, it is up to you to go back to school, to learn a trade, to start your own business. We are not victims here. We are victors. So not being enough because we didn't get up off our butt and make something happen, it's our fault. So it's nothing that to say you're not enough about. The same with a relationship. Fellas, you're in a relationship and you wine and dine the lady. You're spending your hard, cold cash on the lady and you're doing everything for her to make her happy and she's never happy. Do you ask yourself, was I enough for Sherry? Was I enough for Michelle? Was I enough for Katrina? Do you ask yourself that? And if you do, you should always say I was more than enough because as a gentleman, as a man, you put your best, best self out there and you try to treat a lady with class and respect. And if that lady does not know a good man when she sees one, that's her problem. That is not on you. Ladies, you're with a guy. He comes over to your home. You cook meals for him. His birthday comes. You treat him like the king that he is, taking him out to a great dinner, showering him with a nice gift, and you treat his family well, and you treat him with respect and honor, and he leaves the relationship, do you say, am I enough? Was my shape enough? Did I look good enough? Am I smart enough for him? No, you don't say that. You put your best foot forward. You look good. You smell good. You treat him good. And if he abandons the relationship and decides he doesn't want any more, Tammy is not going to take the blame on that. Now, in relationship, it takes two to tangle. Tango. Is it tangle? <laughs> I'm thinking dance. It takes two of us. And I'm not saying I do everything right. But I don't think we should be saying, are we enough for someone else? Are we enough for this group? That comes from a place of lack. When we came into this world, we all came into the world alone. In our mother's womb, even if it was a twin, they had their own sack. You're complete when you're born. That's it. And if you look at life in this way, it'll help you. I got a new job. Bonus. I just bought my first house. Bonus. Hey, I'm in a new relationship. It's going great. Bonus. 
are anything we get besides the breath in our lungs is a bonus because we don't have to get anything. And when we remember that, you'll always feel like you are enough. We are more than enough for God, more than enough. And that's the one we should worry about. Often I ask myself, God, did I make you happy today? I hope I did something right because I know I'd be wrong. I know I think wrong. I know I think things about people. And I have bad habits that I know I can do better. All of us. So I always worry, did I make God happy? And that's my motto for life. I have to please him, not a friend, not my sisters, not my guy that I was dating, not even my manager. I try to do a good job under the two people I work under, but... <laughs> That's not my ultimate goal in life is to make them happy. It's the great I am. That's who we have to make happy. And if you have peace with him or whatever you believe in, if you have peace, you already know the answer to the question. Hmm, am I enough? Absolutely. You more than enough. You are a valuable person on this earth. You have a lot to give and get out there and give it. So. I want you to think about what I said today. Don't question the value you bring to this world, the value you bring to a job, your own business, a relationship. Don't question it. Know that you know that you know that you know without a shadow of doubt that you are more than enough. So next time someone comes to you with that question, maybe you can help them because they need the help. If they're, if they're questioning, am I enough? We all are more than enough. Anything we get extra is just bonus. Our time on this earth is bonus. Bonus time. Because we don't have to be here. But God is so gracious. And he wakes us up. And gives us life. So that's all I got. Tammy C. Walker. Life coach, therapist, social worker. If you want to do Skype sessions. $30 for 30 minutes. T. Walker at Dreams Are Reality dot com is my email and subscribe and like and I have been enjoying these comments you leave for me it just makes my day people have been so gracious and I am so grateful from the bottom of my heart okay I have more videos coming have a good Saturday it's lovely here outside of Chicago upper 70s no humidity so we'll take it bye thank you for watching